Hello grade two, today we're going to be doing some handwriting together in your language books. So first thing I want you to do is write the date in the first cat's tummy. So the date today is the 19th of May. So the numbers go in the tummy and then the m for the May goes to the head and the tummy. And the ya goes all the way down and touches the tail line. Number 2020, remember because it's a number, it goes in the cat's tummy. Then our heading is handwriting. Capital H. Don't forget to touch all your lines and write neatly and slowly. Okay, and then we're going to write three sentences. Our first sentence says, Anne had another apple, so she made an apple pie. So, capital A goes in the head and the tummy because it's the first word of a sentence as well as it is a person's name. Remember your finger spaces. Comma. And it's a full stop because it's a normal sentence. So, Anne had another apple, comma, so she made an apple pie. Then our next sentence, I want you to skip a cat and go on to the next one so it looks a bit neater. Capitals for Sam. Shouted. Now, when we want to write what someone says, we put it in inverted commas. So we're going to put a comma, and now we're going to do inverted commas, which is two little lines like that. So Sam shouted, stop. When we shout something, what punctuation mark do we use? Question mark, or do we use a full stop, or do we use an exclamation mark? We use a exclamation mark. So he shouted, stop. And we close it because that's all he said. That's what he shouted. Who did he say it to? To. The. Small. Boy skating in. 
in the road. Remember when you don't think you have enough space, rather go to the next line. Do not squish it in. And I'm going to put a full stop. So Sam shouted, stop, to the small boy skating in the road. And our last sentence, skip a cat. Daniel asked Dad Comma. So we're going to put inverted commas. Remember, inverted commas means the words that the person is saying. So inverted commas, open inverted commas. Can you draw A dragon and then a question mark because he's asking dad a question and then we close inverted commas so Daniel asked dad can you draw a dragon so that is what he asked his dad. Then, if you have a little bit of space at the bottom, I would like you to draw a dragon for today's handwriting. Please write neatly, carefully, and don't rush. Don't forget to touch all the lines. Write slowly, and don't forget your finger spaces. Send your teacher a picture of your handwriting, and we can't wait to see how beautiful it is. Have a lovely rest of your day.